Shimano's Dior SL M4100 10-speed shifter is one of their mountain bike shifters. In this video, I'm going to measure the cable pull of this shifter and determine the pull ratio of compatible 10-speed derailleurs. Measuring the shifts was straightforward. It shifts accurately and consistently. My indicator doesn't have enough range for all shifts, so I repositioned the indicator halfway through. I took 170 measurements across both sets of measurements. Here we can see the amount of cable pulled between each pair of cogs. At the extreme ends, the shifter pulls extra cable because derailleur limit screws control the shifts to the smallest and largest cogs. Pulling extra cable allows the cable to go fully slack when resting on the high limit screw and pulls the derailleur firmly against the low limit screw. Closer to the middle, the shifter compensates for the peculiar way derailleurs move. Derailleurs typically move a little slower towards the ends of their range of motion and faster towards the middle. To compensate, the shifter pulls less cable in the middle than it does at the ends. We can also calculate an average cable pull. I average together the middle shifts, ignoring the first and last shifts. The end result is an average cable pull of 3.48 millimeters. You can now use this number to find other shifters that could work in place of this one. I've taken the middle seven shifter steps and created the pull ratio curve for a derailleur that would best match a 10-speed cassette with an average cog pitch of 3.95 millimeters. Derailleurs typically have a pull ratio about 2% lower than we'd expect, and I've accounted for that here. Here we see the pull ratio curve, and we can observe that it has an average pull ratio of 1.11, represented by the red line. We can use this pull ratio of 1.11 to find derailleurs that could be compatible with this shifter. However, a derailleur doesn't have to have a pull ratio of exactly 1.11 to be compatible with this shifter. Based on compatibility ranges from other group sets, derailleurs with a pull ratio from 1.09 to 1.13 are also likely to work well with this shifter. On the outer reaches of compatibility, a derailleur with a pull ratio as low as 1.07 or as high as 1.15 may be compatible. Shimano's compatibility charts say this shifter is compatible with the RDM4120 derailleur, which has a pull ratio of 1.08. The pull ratio of that derailleur is about 3% lower than the expected pull ratio. Shimano stands by their parts, so when they say components work together, I would trust them. This should give you some idea of how far off a pull ratio can be and still be compatible. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference. 